Hi guys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download, install and set up Ombi. <clears throat> so what Ombi is, it is that it is a media requesting service. So for example, if you, you have like remote access set up and you have multiple users, a lot of users, they can, instead of like calling you or texting you to request a movie, they can request it through this service and it is pretty great. So it's open source and uh, I have the GitHub open here. So. Uh, uh, if you want you can try the demo version before uh, trying it at ombi.io but I'm just gonna start so I'm, I'm gonna have this page both their website and the github uh, repository linked in the video description so first thing we're gonna do is go into the releases page and assets and from there we're gonna download it for our operating system in this case Windows 10 64 bit so let's download that this should only take like a minute Okay, so it just downloaded. I'm going to extract this to the desktop and I'm going to left click, click on, uh, seven, I'm going to use 7-zip to extract it and there we go. So this is the file, all, uh, all of the files that you need. So here we go. Now the thing is that this is a CMD program command line program so it can't be executed in the same way as you would execute other things so what you need to do is that you need to uh, uh, actually before we start I'm gonna recommend that you create a folder on your C drive so left click new uh, folder I'm gonna name this Ombi and transfer all of these files over into that perfect now what you want to do is you want to, uh, in the top here just type in cmd that will open up the command line and from there type in omni.exe press enter and it should automatically start the omni service so now if you head over to on your web browser give it permission to the firewall it's uh, it needs that so uh, allow and from there if you now head over to local host I believe the port is 5000 yeah 5000 you should be here with MB now this is the installation guide so uh, this will this is the installation wizard that will help you so what we need to do is just click on next and we are going to be using jellyfin so uh, let's see we're, we're just going to take uh, this jellyfin server so this is uh, HTTP 192.168.18.2 and we are going to have to add our API key to create an API key what you want to do is go into dashboard come down to API keys create one and name this Ombi and now you have an API key that you can use just copy this and paste it into this and click on next so we need to configure something. Let's just add admin and root as our password because uh, le now you can like uh, customize it. So I'm going to keep the uh, logo as is, but I'm going to change the name to TechFlix uh, Request Service or something like that. Yeah, TechFlix Tech Request Service. So let's click on next and on this, it's done. <coughs> Uh, there we go. So now all we have to do is log in with our password that we just used. And there we go. Perfect. So the first time that it loads up, it might take some time. So uh, you can just set it up like this. So what you want to do is now you want to head over into settings. And go into media server and jellyfin. So we want to enable the jellyfin and we want to add our server so I'm gonna name this uh, uh, my jellyfin server host name is 192.168.18.2 and then uh, the port is a096 and server ID that will automatically it will automatically fill up by itself we need to add our API key and test connectivity successfully connected and discover server information 
there you go so it automatically find the server information and now submit and it has now added our server to it so we want to run a manually run case here and submit it perfect so now if you for example going to discover the things that we already have for example i already have this movie it will now come available on jellyfin uh, it will, it's already become uh, has a win because this movie is available we can just click on play on jellyfin and it will automatically open this up and i can just play it from here so for example if i want to request a new movie right now i could uh, search something up like um, let's just request the falcon and the winter soldier so i can click on request and season one request uh, let's just request on behalf of an admin and request it. Perfect. So we have just requested it and if we now, because I am the admin, if I go into requests and TV shows, I can see that somebody has requested the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. What I can do is go into options, uh, sorry, I can go into details and I can see that uh, what they have requested and if it's okay I can approve that request okay so now we have only set up there's one last thing that we do have to do so uh, let's just close all of this so Ombi is running but the problem is that you have to start it yourself and that's like every time you start the server you will have to start Ombi with it and that is not at all a good option so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna write a bat file or we're gonna make a shortcut. It's up to you. I personally recommend a bat file because it's gonna be easier But uh, you know what? Let's just do a shortcut. So left click on ombi.exe uh, Send to create shortcut on desktop perfect. So now f2 and rename this to just ombi and then do a windows plus r and click on shell uh, and then colon and then startup. I believe that is the command. Yeah. So now in our startup, we can just place Ombi in here. And every time that Windows starts up, Ombi will now start up with it. So here, yeah. Ombi will start up with Windows so that you don't have to manually start it up. Now, for those people who do want to write a bat file, it's actually really easy to do so. All you have to do is that like you can open up anything. I'm gonna, I prefer Notepad plus plus because it's really simple to use. But you can actually, in reality, you can just use anything that you want. So uh, uh, let's close this, not this, uh, not even this. Okay, so to create that bat file, we're first gonna uh, go to that folder, so CD, and then the folder that you chose. So for me, that is. Uh, c slash ombi and then after that ombi dot exe perfect control s this and save it and put in shell slash start up and in there uh, all types save this as ombi dot bat it's as easy as that. You can save it there. But I'm not going to because I already have Ombi set. A uh, shortcut for Ombi. So you can just save it like that. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks uh, for watching. And uh, I hope this helped you a lot. And I have been personally been using Ombi for a long time. And I just love it. Because this is such an amazing piece of software. That makes uh, requesting uh, movies really easier. And by the way guys. If you actually want to add that like a custom link in the dashboard for example I have a custom link for YouTube in here you can add a custom link for Ombi in here as well that will automatically just take you over to uh, um, uh, Ombi for request so you can add a custom link in the sidebar uh, if you want to do so you should check out my recent video and uh, a recent video on customizing Jellyfin and that will help you a lot so Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and uh, like. And if you had any problem, please comment. And uh, I'll do my best to help you. If you're terrible people, you know what to do. And that's all for this video. Thank you.